Hey, this is Ryan from AccuTune Off-Road, and today we're gonna to do a great shock comparison between Fox, King, and Ride Shocks, and we're gonna be specifically comparing the Tacoma models. So on the shock comparison, we're gonna focus on the fitment, so how they fit on the vehicle, what options are available for that, how they function, so that's ride quality and tunability, and we're gonna also talk about durability and how long they're gonna last for you. In the front, it's really important that your coilovers have the right spring rate on them. While they are height adjustable, you can exceed the limits of the spring either way, whether your vehicle's too light because it's two-wheel drive or a stripped down model, or by being too heavy because you've added a lot of accessories. Fox only has one spring available. If you need different springs, they are available. We will install different springs and we'll tune the shocks to work with those springs, but there's an additional charge for that. King has multiple rates available. The internal valving is the same on all rates and we are able to tune those to match the rate and we're also able to take shocks that are off the shelf and change the rate and sometimes there's some additional charge for that. And then Ride Shocks offers three different front spring options that already come with the valving to match those springs. So when it comes to fitment, it really matters the length of the shocks to make sure that you get adequate amounts of up travel and down travel. If your shock's too long, you won't have enough up travel. If your shock's too short, you may not have enough droop. When it comes to the front length, all three have a great compressed length. The Ride Shocks and the Kings both have a little bit longer extended length, which can help with some extra droop and help achieve a little bit extra ride height. When it comes to rear options, Fox and King both offer two different lengths. They both have an option that's about zero to one and a half inches of lift. And then they have options that are for like two inches to three and a half inches of lift. With the Fox in particular, we found that the stock length shock is a little short on a lot of taller lifted applications. So if you're going for that max two, two and a half lift, stock length shock can be a little short and the longer one can be a little bit too long sometimes. The King, their standard off the shelf rear shock is a little short for a lot of the rear leaf springs that people like to run. However, we've come up with our own shock that King makes for us to our specs that has a much longer extended length without adding too much compressed length. So this shock is a great option for your standard rear lift spring options, whether it's an Adelie for a full replacement pack. This King Shock from AccuTune really has the right lengths. And then Ride Shocks only offers one rear length. It is about an inch and a half to three and a half, and that length is perfect for Adelies and full leaf replacement packs. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about tunability and ride quality and how these shocks do so well and some of the differences between them when it comes to that. So when it comes to ride quality and tunability, the main piston here is one of the critical features. And the basic summary of how it works is that oil is able to flow through these holes and then there are valve shims on each side that have to bend out of the way. The, the consistent theme on ride quality is the shape and size of these holes and the ability for the shock to flow adequate amount of oil so it doesn't kind of hydro lock on those really high speed movements. So this is the Fox piston. You can see that it has really big ports, which is great. It can let a lot of oil flow through. It's not restricting the free flow of the oil. That's a really nice benefit to this piston. One thing that is notable is that it's got some sharp edges here and those sharp edges can cause some ride quality discomfort on really high speed movements. Overall, the flow here is great. This is the King piston, which comes in all the front shocks and this, this is their linear piston and it also comes in the rear shock that we order from King and any shock that you order from us for King, we also do a, a piston upgrade almost all the time to this piston. The linear design really works much better than a digressive design. The things, some of the things we like about this piston, it's got round ports, which we found work really well. Some of the things we don't like as much is the holes aren't as big as the Fox. And so sometimes that can restrict oil flow on really high speed movements. And then you can also see there's a couple sharp edges in here, which can also affect the ride quality on really sharp bumps. But overall, this is a good piston. It's really tunable. 
and we're able to make trucks ride really well with this. This is the King Digressa piston. This is standard in some of their shocks, particularly the stock length Tacoma shock. It's digressive, and so basically the way it works is the, the surface and this surface are at different heights, and the shim is preloaded on that gap, and so you need to overcome that tension before the oil can flow. We don't personally here like digressive because it can create a bad feeling when you overcome that tension in the shock. While these come standard in the shock, we tend to replace them with a linear piston from King. This is the Ride Shocks piston. It has really large ports and they are also round. So we, we like the round design. We like the size, just like we like the size of the Fox ones. And then one thing you'll notice here is that all the ports are 3D machined. On the Ride Shocks piston, there's always free flowing oil and never restriction from like the oil kind of has momentum. And so if you've got a sharp edge, you can kind of imagine that it disrupts the oil flow. Totally round and radius ports here improves ride quality. After the oil's gone through the piston, the next thing it needs to do is flow through the hose. Your hose size can impact the ride quality on your shocks. Fox uses Dash 8 hose, which is an industry standard size. It works well, very common, and you can get good ride quality out of this. King uses a variety of different hose sizes. Their front shocks use Dash 6, which is smaller than we typically see in the industry and can have a little bit of an impact on ride quality. The rear shocks we order here, you can see they use the bigger Dash 8, which is more common in the industry. Depending on the front or rear, King uses a, a variety of different hose sizes. Ride Shocks uses by far the largest hose. They're using Dash 10 hose size, both front and rear. And the Dash 10 hose really makes sure that it, this is never the flow restriction, especially on some real long hoses. And it improves comfort on choppy road and washboard over the smaller hoses. One thing that's notable about hose size is that that's kind of built into the shock and it's really not something that we're able to upgrade down the road. Though in this review, we are only covering shocks with adjusters. And the reason that we're focusing on that is that we found that a lot of our customers really like having the adjustability. The low speed adjustment gives you the ability to compensate for added weight or improve GL performance if you're going for speed and then a high speed adjustment lets you tune for whoops and speed bumps and like high speed shock movements. Our customers have seen a lot of value in this and ability to adjust their shocks for out of weight or increased performance off-road. This is the Fox dual speed compression adjuster and DSC stands for dual speed compression, which is the low speed knob here on the top and the high speed knob here down below. When this adjuster came out, it was absolutely game changing in the off-road industry because it really allowed us to fine tune the shock externally and make pinpointed adjustments at what we needed to do. Over time, we've started to realize there's a couple disadvantages of this adjuster. The first is that it's digressive. When you tighten the high speed knob here, it, it turns the internal parts here and it's clamping a digressive shim stack. And so sometimes it can add more harshness than performance. And then the second problem is the adjuster piston holes are pretty small compared to the hose size. The next adjuster is the King adjuster. They advertise it as a mid-speed compression adjuster, so it kind of does some high speed and does some low speed. It's super simple because there's just a single knob, so if you're not super experienced with shock adjustments or not too interested in learning but you want to have some adjustability, this is pretty simple. It works by having a, a linear shim stack, which is great. The piston, which you can see here, has big holes for lots of flow, which is also great. So this adjuster works quite well for simple adjustments. This is the Ride Shocks adjuster. It also offers low speed and high speed adjustment. And it's called the DPA adjuster because the way it works is it has two pistons inside. With one knob, you're adjusting the valving on the first piston, which is your low speed adjustment. And on your high speed knob, you're adjusting the valving across your second piston, which is the high speed. It also uses a piston with large holes and has a lot of flow. When it comes to the tuning in the different adjusters, Fox offers one adjuster valving for all shocks. King offers different valving depending on what shock you're getting, so they, they tune it per, per skew. And then Ride Shocks also tunes theirs per skew. Next, we're gonna talk about the durability shocks. Overall, these are all fantastic quality. They're gonna last a long time, but there's some differences in their construction and seal packages, which can affect that. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the shock body. It's got a couple main purposes. One is to hold the oil in and be strong enough to contain all the shock forces. And then it needs to be pretty abrasion resistant because inside the piston's running back and forth along it. And then externally, it needs to look good for a long time. 
On all the Fox PES shocks here, they use an aluminum body with a hard anodized coating. It's very strong and very durable. That The hard anodizing is actually super hard, and so it's very wear resistant against the Teflon wear band inside. So the aluminum shocks are going to be very corrosion resistant. They're going to look good for a long time, and they're going to be very durable for you. King uses steel body with CAD plating. It's super strong. It looks really sharp out of the box. We found that over time that the CAD plating doesn't hold up that well to getting blast bite rocks. So they're a little bit more prone to corrosion in the long term, but it's very durable, gonna last a long time and gonna work great. And Ride Shocks also uses an aluminum shock body with hard anodized coating, which is also gonna be very durable against abrasion and long-term corrosion. When it comes to the shaft, Fox is using a medium carbon steel that's been heat treated and has a hard chrome plating over it. Hard chrome plating is industry standard and the heat treating is industry standard. There's stuff is industry standard because it works great. It lasts a long time. It's proven to be very durable and resistant against rock chips and rusting. King uses chromoly shafts, which at first seems great, but they are not heat treated. So we find that they're a little soft and more prone to rock chips and they are also hard chrome plated, so they do last a long time and the seals will hold up well. Finally, Ride Shocks uses a medium carbon steel piston rod that is heat treated and has a hard chrome finish. So again, it's gonna last a long time, the seals like it, and it's gonna be resistant to rock chips. So seals inside the shock have two main purposes. The first is just to keep the dirt out. If the dirt gets in, you're going to have problems with the main seal sealing and you're going to have problems with long-term durability. And then their second purpose is to seal long-term across a range of temperatures and pressures. First up, we have Fox. Fox has a heavy-duty wiper that's the primary element that they use on all PES shocks to keep dirt out. They also have a secondary wiper that does some wiping and also does some sealing where the main seal to leak. And then they have a U-cup that they use for the main sealing. And this combination of seals works really well and has been proven to last a long time. King has a heavy duty wiper that they use as their main seal to prevent dirt intrusion. Behind that, they use a U-cup and the U-cup is a backup in case the main O-ring leaks. And their main pressure seal on the shaft is an O-ring. O-rings are great in racing, but sometimes don't do well on OEM applications that see colder temperatures and they can tend to weep a little bit. So they've got that U-cup there to kind of help catch that. Red Shocks uses a separate seal package front and rear. In the front, it starts with a heavy duty wiper to keep the dirt out. Then they have a secondary wiper and the secondary wiper helps keep any dirt that made it past the first one. So like little dust helps keep that out. And then their last seal is a U-cup to keep the pressure in. And so this seal package has been proven to work quite well. In the rear, Ride Shocks uses a different seal package than the front. In the rear, they've got uh, first is a boot to prevent any dirt from getting to the shaft at all. This has been successful and we do offer boot upgrades for Fox and King if you're really going for ultimate durability. Inside, they have a heavy duty wiper and then a U-cup. All these seal packages have been proven to be durable over the long term and to survive lots of use, whether it's cold temperature, hot temperature, and many thousands of miles. That's part of what makes these shocks so great. And so we don't find that there's a huge difference in sealing between these. So now we're gonna talk about the shock oil. And the first goal of the shock oil is to provide internal lubrication. We've got parts moving really quickly, rubbing against each other, and the oil plays a big part and how well they're lubricated. The next thing is that it needs to be able to do that across a wide temperature range. And the temperature range both influences its ability to lubricate and its ability to resist shock fade. Oil that has what we call it a viscosity index is more prone to fading. Your shock gets softer as it gets hotter. That has a low viscosity index. And then the last thing is cavitation. And cavitation is basically the shock oil boiling and we start to think, okay, there's these really high temperatures where that could happen, but that assumes that there's some pressure applied. And depending on how your shock is designed, not all shocks always have positive pressure inside of them. This is kind of starts to get really technical, but it's kind of why those radius ports start to matter. It matters why some of the adjuster designs matter. 
And so basically the resistance cavitation in summary will affect the performance of shocks in extreme condition and being more resistant to cavitation will work better in the desert. Fox uses a conventional oil. It has a really high viscosity index, meaning it can operate over a wide range of temperatures without much of a reduction in performance. It lubricates really well and overall is just a, a great shock fluid. King uses a more conventional hydraulic oil. It lubricates really well, but it can tend to fade more than the Fox oil does. The viscosity index just isn't as high, and so you get more prone to shock fade at higher temps, but it does have good resistance to cavitation. Finally, Ride Shocks uses a fully synthetic fluid oil made specifically for shocks. It has a, an extremely high viscosity index, similar to the Fox. It also lubricates very well and it has the highest resistance to cavitation or boiling of any of the three. All three of these shocks are great options if you're looking to upgrade your vehicle. The price points on the models shown here are all very similar. If you're price point sensitive and looking for something a little less expensive or don't think you're going to use the adjusters, Fox has a factory series that's available without the adjuster and the Kings are also available without the adjuster while the ride shocks are only available with the adjuster. We try to be really objective in this comparison so that you can look through the video or the article and pick out the characteristics that matter the most to you and choose the shock that you think best fits your needs. Regardless of which brand you choose, AccuTune Off-Road offers a ton of options for heavier springs or tuning for your exact vehicle. No matter which one you choose, we're going to make them work well. We've got a complete tech article to accompany this video that you can check out the link on our website. We'd love to hear your feedback down below on which of these fit your vehicle and which ones you like the best. If you liked this video, click the subscribe button to see more.